Hello everyone. So this is uh, 11th of September 2023. I'm here uh, in the village of Rumse on the Manali Lai Highway. We've already covered some hundred kilometers from the village of Matho, which is very close to Leh, and we are going all the way to Tsomariri. Today is day five. We are starting it a little late. The time right now is 2:15 p.m. and we wish to hike for some 10 kilometers and camp, and then keep moving towards Tsomariri. But this is where the beautiful, the well-known Rumse to Tsomariri trek starts. So it is three individuals with 30 liter backpacks each and we carry everything in there camera gear our food our shelter clothing we plan to finish this hike in around around three to four days it is 110 kilometers long all of us are pretty well acclimatized no network for these four days and hope to have some beautiful experiences in the wild there's a big and beautiful valley you can spot both uh, Raj and Omkar walking through the trail now you see this colorful valley I was in this valley day before yesterday when I did the Bochang La uh, 5000 meter mountain pass connecting the villages of Rumtse and Miru Hi <laughs> Oh, this is a pretty neat and clean uh, room. Wow. This can, uh, this can work as a great shelter. You'll instantly feel warm. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> oh. Again, we have salted chana. Thanks with the jaggery mm. Mm. <laughs> time is 4 30 pm we've done some 5.5 uh, k in the last two hours it was quite a quick break And now we'll walk another uh, seven kilometers and then camp. So day one at Trumse to Somariri is basically just uh, a four to five hour hike just to reach the base of the pass and then camp. It's a pretty nice and broad valley to hike in, but it will be close to 4500 meters, so 
make sure that you are well acclimatized we see more horses on the 11 kilometer mark hello We have, uh, we have made it to Chorten Sumdo. Let's have a look at the condition of the shepherd camp. If they are neat and clean, then we can actually pitch our tent inside, have a nice and warm sleep. So we have a beautiful shepherd colony and there are so many huts there. there. So we can actually have a very warm sleep at night let's check which one of these are actually functioning yeah a very nice place to sleep <laughs> nice and warm. Ow! You can put three mats. This is your ventilation. Yeah. We even have a window. <laughs> this is for the morning views. <laughs> we can just uh, put like a stick here so that it just as uh, stays in place. Very good ventilation and nice and warm ground actually. Very nice little broken door. We can even uh, nicely cook. Woo! This looks nice. So even though we carry tents, there's, there's no need to pitch your camp. You save up so much time and you sleep warm. So thanks to people who we'll never meet, but it is their hard work that we'll have one of the most beautiful, comfortable night in the in the mountains at 4,500 meters. Yeah. That's what I love about hiking. <laughs> this one is a temple. They have locked it up pretty nice and tight. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's not take our shoes inside. This is a I can see something on the walls there. Some local deity. Wow. Nice roof made out of tin and wooden stick. This would take so much of effort and engineering. Lovely. Okay, this is how they nicely make the roof. They first put the wooden logs and then they put a lot of soil and then even the grass grows on the top that's the chimney for the house if if they make a fireplace yeah the wooden wooden door this would have been transported on the on the back of a horse i guess oops this one is not as clean as the others uh, but you can see there is uh, sheep wool which is uh, extremely warm to sleep on yeah. See, made a bed out of it, a small stick, yeah, it's super, super warm. Again, uh, under it. Yeah. this would be again some, I think, yeah, this is where they worship. You can see a matchstick, you can see the incense. Yeah, again, a tin roof on the top, wooden logs, this, this, this is the chimney. We have a window with iron iron rods. 
so that no animal enters. There's a teacup. So this is where uh, this he'll use it as a shelf. And this is the most beautiful thing that you see. This is all this is all sheep wool. This would stay so warm at night. Yeah, we got a small little stick. So here is Manav, who is uh, putting getting in the sleeping. Ready. Yeah, getting our beds ready for tonight. Yeah. So see, first uh, we have the ground, then we have the fly sheet, yes. then we have our mats, and then uh, we pull in our sleeping bags and we'll have a nice, comfortable sleep. I am kind Super of long. skeptical about sleeping here. Why? <laughs> it's a bit uncomfortable. I like to sleep inside tent. <laughs> no, but you think it will be uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, but it could be comfortable too, right? Yeah, yeah. true, true. So you'll have to give it a shot. Yes, definitely. This will break a lot of wind. Yeah. yeah. No wind. No wind at all. It will be warmth. I'll ask you in the morning. Was it a comfortable? <laughs> Was it a comfortable night or not? All in all, I am in for this experience. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Voila, it's done. Done? Yeah, now we go and get some water. Yeah, dinner time. So we'll uh, finish our uh, dinner before uh, the sun sets. The Time right now is 7 p.m. We have pickle and uh, torato. Got it from Rumtse. So we're not cooking anything today. It's all fresh food. Still warm. Hmm, still warm. So for all my recent hikes in Ladakh, I have been uh, also using this hand pressed apricot oil. It uh, really helps in recovery. It's good and great for the health of your joints. And it's pretty easy to carry because it's it's a very small small bottle. Keeps your uh, body warm. But yeah, I would not apply this oil and then sleep in shorts because then it will touch the inner layer of the sleeping bag and will deteriorate its life so I'll make sure that I wear a pant while I'm sleeping yeah. but I've started doing it very very recently I feel that I do a lot of mileage and if I'm using my body I don't want to abuse it I also wish to take good good care of it there are so many individuals who usually ask me about the skin routine that how can you keep your lips uh, yeah how can you keep your your lips should not get any cuts and your face how to protect it from getting tanned so even there the apricot oil helps a lot so just wash your face and then apply some drops and this is something that the locals have been suggesting in himachal and even in even in ladakh so I'm going by the local know-how and experience and I genuinely hope that this, this will definitely help. I'm not in a position to review this as of now, but I'm making it part of my daily hiking hiking routine. Yeah. Cool. So we are three individuals. We are seven parathas down. <laughs> so the tummy is full. It's a very nice and warm hut. This is how day one ends. 7:40 p.m. and it's time to sleep now. Good night, mm -hmm. and we wake up morning fresh, and we wish to do all the three passes in one single day. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. There's there's no nothing hard and fast, but yeah. I think we'll be able to do it. Yeah. And then uh, we'll reach Ponga Nagu. That will finish the first leg of Rumse to Somriri. So yeah, that's all. Good night everyone. Good night. This was all for day one. Yeah.